Welcome to this video about this cable cam I made. First, I'm going to explain the parts. After that, I will explain the codes and settings. And after that, I'll do a short demonstration. Here is a BLDC motor. This is connected to this controller. This is an ODES controller. It's basically a single axis O drive. Here is the brake resistor that's connected to it. You don't need this because you can use regen brake because you're using a battery. But I'm still using it. Here is the wireless receiver. I'm using an NRF24 L01 because I don't have an RC receiver. There's also an encoder on this side that's connected to this piece and that's connected to the motor and that's feeding the position back into the ODES controller. On the bottom, I'm screwing in a gimbal and attaching a camera into the gimbal. You can, of course, directly attach a camera as well. So now over to the settings. I've once again made a website about this project. Here you can find the parts list. Here you can download my 3D files. If you have never worked with O-Drive or O-Desk, I recommend following my getting started guide. This goes over all the basic settings and also the installation of the O-Drive tool. All these settings are explained in the getting started guides. These are the basic settings. You can also use regenerative braking because you're using a battery. That's explained here. After that, you need to choose what type of control you want. If you want the most basic control, I recommend using velocity control as I've done. So here you can set the velocity control you have to set the GPIO PWM mapping to velocity property. If you're using the latest firmware, you have to set this setting. Otherwise, this setting does not exist. You don't have to set it. Here, I'm setting the minimum and maximum speed. So this is in the reverse and this is forwards. You can also use a small offset between the two. If the motor is not still when you're not controlling it, you can also do this in your RC transmitter trim function. If you want position control, settings are basically the same, just for position instead of velocity. For example, with a linear potentiometer, you can do this. If you want to set a zero position, you can use an end stop and always save the configuration and reboot. If you want more advanced options such as motion planning, you can use the Arduino library for O-Drive. I'm using an Arduino controller because I don't have an RC transmitter and receiver. So this is two Arduinos in combination with NRF24 LO1s. It uses the servo library to create an RC PWM signal. You can download my code here. I've watched this video to make mine. There's only a small mistake in this video and that's something to do with pin 13. So be careful, look at the written pin numbers and not on the schematic. Here is a wiring diagram of the ODES controller. I've also made two general wiring diagrams, one for the RC receiver and one for the Arduino version. So these pins are explained in this video. You can also use an O-Drive or dual access O-Desk board. You can have two spools of wire and depending on the motor rotation directions, the system moves horizontally or vertically. Now it's time for a short demonstration. As I have said before, I'm using the most basic control, velocity control, but you can make the system as advanced as you like. That was it for this video. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments below. 
please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.